now we go to Eric Sheptok. Good morning, Councilman. Uh, as you know, my name is Eric Sheptok, and I'm Chairman of Shark Shelter Housing and Respectful Change. I want to start out by saying that I'm pleasantly surprised to find out that I'm signed up to testify because I don't recall signing up. So whoever did it should do it again. <laughs> but uh, that said, I want to also commend you for, for your your accomplishments and your ongoing efforts in terms of homeless families. I'm, I'm glad that, that they're not sleeping in stairwells anymore. Uh, and, and, uh, but I also want to say that we've put a lot of focus on, on the individuals who, uh, who, who are suffering from mental illness and various disabilities. And there's also the focus on families, but the, the homeless singles who are not disabled are being ignored and lingering in shelter. Uh, we should put more focus on, on them now and, and getting them connected to living wage jobs and, and affordable housing be, because, well, it, it would benefit us in a couple of ways. Number one, uh, they would stop using city resources. And number two, they'd be working and paying taxes and contributing to, to the life of the city, and, and so I, I think that we're losing a lot by, by not putting enough focus on the individuals who can work and getting them connected to living wage jobs. Uh, I heard what you said about people having their addictions and so forth, and I realize that does happen within the homeless community. It happens with those who are housed, you know, but, but at the same time, you know, I, I'm, I'm totally against the, the over-nurturing of homeless people, there, there, there seems to be this atmosphere of thinking that homeless folk can't do much of anything and, and just want to take them all by the hand and baby them uh, a, a little too much, you know, and, and so I think that we, we should kind of change that dynamic just a bit and, and get the ones who can do different things to do them. And, and uh, also I want to bring up CCNV. I've mentioned the, the future of CCNV. We have less than three and a half years left on the covenant between uh, Ronald Reagan and Mitch Snyder and various officials. And uh, so we, we want some concrete answers as to what's going to happen with that property and the 1,350 people that, that call that place home, <laughs> you know, me being one of them. But, but uh, I, I do want to know what's going to happen with that. And there is the prospect of building affordable housing on the parking lot to hold a thousand people, but then again, we're going to knock heads with this concept of, fo of folk not wanting to create pockets of poverty. So, so uh, I, I realize that's a reality, that they don't want to have a thousand or plus poor people living in the same building, but that's what we have right now, you know, so it, it wouldn't be much different. You know, for, based on what we have now, anything's an improvement. And speaking of improvements, I, I want to commend the fact that uh, DGS is actually now working on the building. They began working on it on February 23rd. When I walked out this morning, they were, they were doing more repairs, and so that they, act, they actually are on it. So that, that's good news. And, and um, my final point is, is that when you talk about affordable housing, somebody working for $8.25 an hour full-time in D.C. would make $1,320 a month. 30% of that is 396 or roughly $400 a month. And so if you want people to have housing that's affordable to low-income people who are contributing to the life of the city, then you have to have places that go for no more than $400 a month with subsidies, quite obviously. And so that, that gives us a hard figure uh, to aim for. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Sheptok. Uh, I, I'm going to convene a hearing on the CCNB situation, and I had I was planning on doing it actually last fall, but I was dissuaded because of conversations that were occurring, and I'm sure they were contributing to all of this. But I think we need to convene all of the stakeholders relating to CCNB, get all the and you've worked hard to get the facts on the record. You've assembled documents. I I follow your emails very closely. You know that, and you've played a major public service in focusing attention on this, and I want to pick up on that and yeah. bring all the key people together, yourself included, to discuss what's going to happen to CCNB. Okay. It is not too late by any means. We still have time to figure out what the issues are and how to address them. So I appreciate very much you raising okay. that issue. Thank you.